Captain has the helm. The thatch has been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his arm was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my own idiot father liked to brag about 
He went to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad will be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left shore. Right, Genway. I've been musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. One of the slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Alec. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the Princess docks in the spare time. The Princess? A slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find a sage aboard it. A merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Loose door, let's move! Loose top the Get us in close.
louder than sticks and spittle me. I'm more than enough of all that. Just find the captain. Princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. What's that cost? You made ash of my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. <laughs> Lads! Ah, see, oh, the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this lot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tricia! Ooh. <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog lessons, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and slay your bloody luminous! Stop your goddamn howling, Vane! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The fears of our good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder! Shut your gob!
Take some out. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louse. Found some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker! Now, let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now, stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stopped filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you bake me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew. I said not to follow! Jesus! 
says you've lost your head, man. It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenades. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean so! Into this mess, can't wait. And I'll be damned if I let you turn into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try. By all means. <laughs> It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly boat! Another keystone. Boy, 
gonna turn off her fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my brig from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenwe. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower rum fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. What do you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust.
What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags, and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. I need some help here! Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. Those are two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. 
In other words, a small... Does Torres mean to spy on me then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our sample to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Master, welcome. Buenas noches. The princess was taken by pirates. So far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. There is something. And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. What of the sage's present location? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. We do not have that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys was more than capable of making this journey. Slave galley? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that seeking situation. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to rebuild. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow. Naturally, efficiently. 
A fair point, Brad. Princess from these pirates. Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. What of the sage's purpose? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? Fine. The winds do not pay for that. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain. I asked you to divest yourself of that Sikh institution. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to reveal. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow naturally, efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Africa we look at. Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structures. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. when duty calls. Captain Kenway, just in time. I'll see you back aboard.
on that gun. What's our course, Captain? Winter Bay, Quartermaster. The sailing for the coast of Africa. Right there, come in! Fire! Ah! Drink! 
ride the wind for all she's worth. Find Roberts. Don't stay long. Who's getting restless out there? Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Headstrong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars, Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can.
You done us good, can we? Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? In honest service, there are thin commons, no wages and hard labor. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor. <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks. And in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But, if it's a captain you see in me now, I then... I'll be a ready captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! You threaten me with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. What is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. That an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Get the mainsails into the wind! Get those bars free! Let's